Hi, I'm Nancy with Creative Cuts. Thanks for joining me and welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a cutout effect using the basic shapes that come with Make the Cut and you can use it for the front of a card or a border on a scrapbook page or whatever you like. So to show you this I'm going to make it as though I was making a card. So to start with I'm going to add a rectangle to my mat that represents the front of the card. So that's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to come up to basic shapes and you can also get to the basic shapes menu through the node editing menu. It's right here. But I'm just going to come up to the basic shapes on my main menu and you've got a whole drop down list of the different types of shapes that are included. I need polygons because that's where the rectangle is. I'm just going to scroll down to rectangle, double click on it, and then X out of that. So now you can see I've added the rectangle to my mat, but it's not the right size. So to get it exactly right, I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to make my width four and a quarter and I'm going to make my height five and a half. And now you can see that the card front is the exact size that I need it to be. So now I'm going to create a new layer down here in the layers palette and I'm just going to recolor that card front so it's a little bit prettier. I'm going to make it kind of a light tan color. Now I'm going to come back up to my new layer and I need another rectangle. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste this one and then resize it. So to do that I'm just going to right click on it, click on copy and then right click again and paste in place. So now you can see I've actually got two rectangles and they're both tan so I'm going to recolor this one so it's a little bit easier to tell what I'm doing and let's choose this nice blue color. Okay now I want to leave this the full height of my card but I want to make it quite a bit narrower so I'm just going to click on it. Right now I've got the rotate and skew arrows showing. If I click on it once more and then once more now I've got the arrows that I can use to resize and that's just these little double-ended arrows. So I'm going to grab that and squeeze it in and I'm going to make my blue strip about that big. Now what I need to do is grab the shapes that I'm going to be cutting out of this. So I'm going to come back up here to basic shapes and this time I'm going to go to stars. That's the shape that I'm going to use and I'm going to use this five points two star. So I'll double click on that and that adds one to my mat. Now you can see down here on the layers palette because I was sitting on the layer that had the blue rectangle when I added the star, it's added the star onto that same layer. I want the star on its own layer, so I'm going to right click and then click on to each its own. And now you can see, I'm just going to make the layers palette a little bit longer here. Now you can see that I have three layers, the card base, the blue strip, and the star. So now I'm going to move this star into position the way that I want it on my card and I can resize it a little bit. Actually, I'll probably leave that one a little bit smaller. I'm going to click on it to get those rotating arrows and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And basically what I'm doing right now is positioning the star where the cutout is going to happen. So this star is still a little bit too big for what I want to do so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that's good right about there. Now I'm going to create two more stars. So I'm going to right click and copy and then right click and paste in place and now I've got my whoops I'll just undo that make sure I've grabbed the star okay and I'm gonna move this one down here I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna rotate it the other way just like that and then finally I'm going to copy that paste in place one more time and I'm going to pull that star down to the bottom side. Okay, now I'm going to make this blue strip just a little bit narrower. It's not quite working for how I want my stars to look. That's a little bit better there. Now at this point, I mean, I'm just kind of playing around to get them positioned exactly where I want them. And that's totally up to you how you want to position your stars. 
The one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you don't end up with tiny little strips um, showing up on the side here. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I mean. So if I left the star positioned here, you can see that I would have this tiny little strip. And on some cutters, that might cause some problems when you're actually cutting it out. So I'm just going to move my star so that that isn't going to happen. And I'll zoom back out. Move that up a little bit. I'm going to rotate this star a little bit more. Right about there. Okay, so I could probably spend the next half hour fussing around with this to get it just right, but I think that looks good right there. Now you'll notice over here on the layers palette again that I have these two stars on top of the blue rectangle on the same layer. So again, I'm just going to move them to their own layer, to each its own. And now what I'm going to do is grab these three stars and I'm going to come down and join them just by clicking on join. So now these are all one unit and they're all on their own layer. You can see in the layers palette here. And I like to keep my layers palette nice and clean. So now I've got these two empty layers. I'm just going to delete those. Okay, so I'm back down to my nice clean three layers. So to create this look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these stars cut out of the blue paper. But I also want to have slightly smaller stars that I'm going to cut out of different paper and attach back to the card. So what I'm going to do is right click and come up to Shape Magic and then Shadow Layer. And I'm going to create an inset shadow and what that's going to do is give me stars that are a little bit smaller than the ones that you see. I want to make sure my corner join is mitered so that gives me nice sharp corners. And now I'm just going to start dragging this shadow width slider so that I've got a narrow little border on my stars. Click Accept. And now you can see that it's actually created a second layer of stars slightly smaller than the first. Now I'm going to change the color of those so they show up better. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and do the cutout. So I'm going to select this rectangle. I'm going to select the layer that has my large stars on it. So now I've got both of those selected. And I'm going to come down here to Boolean Join and click on that. Now you can see right away the first option isn't what we want because we want that blue rectangle to stay and we want the stars cut out of it. So I'm going to come down here to the drop down menu and it shows you different ways that it can join things. So I'm going to select B to A difference. And now you can see that's the look that I was going for. I've got the, the paper color has changed to black, but it's still that blue rectangle. And now I've got the shapes of the stars cut out of it. So I'm going to click on Apply. And I'm just going to come back here to the layer menu and change the color of, those, of that paper back to the blue that I had before. So now you can see that once I cut this out on my cutter, I'm going to have the strip of paper that has the little star cutouts and then these stars are going to be separate pieces that I can emboss or raise up or do whatever I like with them to make them stand out and create a really neat little effect on the card. And if you want to get creative, you can use the same technique with hearts or butterflies or any shape that you like to create lots of fun little borders and, and card embellishments. Well, I hope you have fun playing with that technique and thanks for joining me.